the second part of the video. Uh, this is the instructions, um, and I will put this video on when I list, but it'll always be on YouTube, so you can go refer to it. This is the first of the teaching mats. Um, this one actually will be the last in the level one course for beginners, uh, someone that has never done a penny rug before, someone that doesn't have wool, because um, this is pretty much as simple as it gets for a penny rug. There are uh, three layers, but there are different sizes of pennies on the layers, if you notice. Um, it doesn't have to be wool. It can be fabric that looks like wool. And I will show you how to, in the first level kit, a first level course for this kit, uh, to make it, I will show you how to blend all of these colors together so they look good in a rug. And the base is wool. Uh, for me, it's wool. It's a beautiful old wool blanket. Uh, it has stripes on it. And uh, this, again, is something that will be for teaching because of the stripes. But it's a wonderful old blanket. Uh, it's a basic design, so you know these are in the wool. The guidelines are pressed in the wool, and you start it this way. Uh, you lay out your rug. Um, I glued it, but you would probably pin it. And you lay the rug out. Now, it's going to be this shape in the, in the kit. It's not going to be a rectangle as I usually do. So you need to be careful and lay out your, your pennies. Um, make sure that you have a good edge on all sides. And if you do have a piece of wool, some of the wool uh, doesn't have the strips this way. It will have them another way depending on how I cut the, the base. But if you do have wool uh, strips in your wool on the side, uh, be very careful about that. I'll just show you in a minute um, what may go wrong with it. So you uh, three-quarter inch masking tape as usual, but uh, this is, uh, it doesn't matter for the size. It's just that you use the tape to mark the wool in a straight line to cut, and you need a uh, the edge of your pennies. You see that one's a little bit out, but that's okay. If your pennies are in, you need to adjust and put them out towards the edge of the tape for the last row. You can have them a little off in, in the other areas of your rug, but it's really noticeable to have them curved in. And with a two-inch penny, that, that's pretty common. That's something that will happen. Now this one's a little bit out. Uh, that's fine, but you don't want it in. Um, you want it as close to that edge of the tape as possible. And once that is done, you use the tape as your cutting line. You want to cut very close to the pennies. As close as possible to the edge on this one. And we're going to round the corners here because you would go and you would have a little lip there. You round your outside edge with your penny and then keep going. And once you have it cut, Then do not um, do not stitch these down before you cut your edge. You either glue or pin them in place, and that way you can adjust them. So you stitch this base, the the wool base. You would stitch in whatever stitch you're doing, a blanket stitch or any other type of stitch, before 
you stitch this last row of pennies down, but you need the pennies in place, which is different than some of our other rugs that I do when I cut the edge. You need these pennies in place and this as your guideline to cut very close to the edge. But then you would either um, remove the pennies or really you can stitch it if you're gluing or pinning you can just leave those pennies there and then you can stitch the edge and then go in and stitch your pennies and that's pretty much it um, now this is what I was saying um, with the see if I can get that up a bit oh, my. these technical things you see how this is out these are out this one's way in <clears throat> I would put the oh my goodness I would put the tape on and then I would move the pennies a bit this one is you see just move that one up a bit so really you need to have that edge uh, as perfect as possible that's the only tricky part of this you need to have these pennies. Um, now, if this wasn't a line here, you would be fine. You could just put your your tape on. It doesn't matter if if it's with the grain for the for the backing. You would be fine. It's just because this line is showing, and then you don't want to have it going like this and cut off. You don't want to see that yellow over your stitching. So that's it for this part um, of the instructions. And again, um, not very many, sorry. But uh, if I do have more, uh, I will certainly check and put them on later this week. And um, really, this is so good. The, the thing that makes this rug nice is the different sizes of pennies that are all over. They are different. And the other thing that you will find in this kit is some of the pennies, um, I don't know if I can see any here. Some of them are going to be a bit off shape, like maybe this one. This one's got a little swish in it here. It's not a perfect circle. And that's very important because that's part of the teaching class. Um, the very best way and one of the important ways to make penny rugs look like an antique rug is not to have perfect circles. I know. Everyone has the machines and everyone is so careful about it has to be a perfect penny, but really, if it's an old rug, they were not perfect. And maybe you should try them in your Rex too, if you want that old look. The other thing is, off-center, that's good too. See, off-center, uh, off-center a bit, off-center. And this, um, I believe this one is glued. Let's go up to the top and do this one. So I've tried to put them uh, close to the center, but see, there's one off center, and it's not a perfect circle. That's on purpose. That's part of the teaching. That's one of the ways to have a rug look old like an antique. And there's another one. And of course, the stitching, um, with a with this being in the beginner class, it can be any stitching. Uh, it can be a blanket stitch. It can be whatever stitch that you would like to use. So uh, the threads will make a difference, but I believe I would suggest for this rug um, just a very basic color. Uh, I would think a dark color for the pennies. There again, you have to remember you test your threads with the colors. You don't want any thread that matches any of these. So either a very thin light color, because that is such a nice design as it is. You don't want 
to have the threads to stand out and to further um, add to the design of the rug. It looks pretty darn good as it is. I really, I think that's my favorite rug that I've ever made. It is so nice. Everything blends together. It's a good rug if it looks good without the stitching. And if it looks good without the stitching, then tone the stitching down a bit and let the rug show through. So that's it for this, uh, the first instructional video. I will put the other ones on. And um, then uh, those of you that are lucky enough to get one of these kits, you can just come in and then review it because there certainly aren't going to be written instructions <laughs> in your kit. Not Mama. No, mama's, Mama doesn't do that. Okay, thank you very much, and I'm on for the next video.